Well, guys, look over there. This is an octopus. The largest octopuses in all the oceans are known to have no internal skeleton or shell. This is what makes octopuses have soft bodies and can help them move freely. The only hard part of an octopus's body is its beak. The octopus's beak is located at the bottom where the arms meet. There is lobster. Lobsters have a hard exoskeleton, or shell, that does not grow with them. To grow, they undergo a process called molting, where they shed their old shell and form a new, larger shell. During the skin changing process, lobsters are at their most vulnerable phase to attack by predators. Wow, this is starfish! A unique fact about starfish is that the shield is a stiff shell that has a rough texture, even thorny, depending on the species. Starfish have a layer of calcium carbonate with tiny spines that deter fish, birds and even sea otters from attacking them. This is a crayfish. Crayfish, or crawdads, are crustaceans that live in freshwater environments throughout the world, except for India and Antarctica. These animals have five pairs of legs, or ten legs total, hence the Latin name for the crayfish order, known as Decapita. There is a clownfish. This beautifully colored fish is apparently not very good at swimming. Therefore, this fish often takes shelter behind the tentacles of sea anemones. When attacked by another animal, this fish will swim quickly to avoid it. But that speed only lasted for a short time. This fish is also more often found around the tentacles of sea anemones. There is a jellyfish. All types of jellyfish have nematocysts, or stinging structures. However, the strength of their sting can vary greatly depending on the species. The most poisonous jellyfish in the world is a type of cubozoa which is capable of killing an adult human with one sting, in just a few minutes. They carry enough venom to kill more than 60 humans. There is a puffer fish. Puffer fish that have white spots apparently have a unique habit of building nests. Male pufferfish make round nests in the sand. Their goal in building a nest is to attract the attention of females. Usually, if female fish are impressed, they will lay their eggs in the nest. Subscribe guys! Well guys, look! This is dolphin. Dolphins are very social creatures. Dolphins often move around in groups of around 2 to 30 dolphins. In groups, they benefit each other to protect themselves from attacks by predators and hunting. Some dolphins even move in groups of hundreds of members, especially during mating season or where there is an abundance of food. There is a mouth bass. All types of largemouth bass come in unique colors and patterns. Typically, all species of this fish have a similar green color with horizontal spots. Largemouth snapper is famous for its bright green color and horizontal spots on both sides and has a white underbelly. This is garfish. Alligators are very calm fish, if you get the chance to see one. They will appear to be floating or submerged in water. However, don't be fooled, this is how they hunt. They won't move until a fish startles them and comes close. The stunned target will suddenly be attacked by an alligator fish which will lunge and grab it with hundreds of sharp teeth. This is a decapodiformer. Decapodiforms is a superorder of cephalopoda consisting of all cephalopod species with 10 limbs, specifically 8 short arms and 2 long tentacles. There is crab! The presence of claws on crabs is not just to decorate the body, these crab claws play a very important role in hunting. Maybe there are still some people who don't realize it, but crab claws are very strong and large. There was even a study to measure the strength of this animal's claws. This is a hermit crab. Hermit crabs have five pairs of legs or a total of ten legs. 
Uniquely, these feet have their respective functions. The largest pair of legs is used for pinching and grabbing food. The second and third pairs of legs are used for walking. The fourth pair is used for getting in and out of the shell. And the fifth pair of legs is used to clean and remove dirt from the shell. This is Ammonite. Ammonites continue to make new shells as they grow, but they live outside the shell. They walk through the warm shallow ocean while spraying water radiating from their bodies. A thin, pipe-like structure called a siphuncle leads into the shell's interior chamber to pump and suck in air that helps them move through the water. Subscribe guys! Well guys, look over there! This is Blue Whale! Even though they are considered the largest animals on Earth, it turns out that blue whales don't have teeth. But it has baleen. Baleen itself is a kind of fiber that functions to filter food. When a blue whale eats, it will take in as much water as possible, then the food will get caught in the baleen fibers before being swallowed. This is a blue spotted ray. Blue spotted rays are distributed in tropical waters, at a depth of 30 meters, ranging from the Indian Ocean to South Africa, from the Arabian Peninsula to Southeast Asia, including Madagascar, Mauritius, Zanzibar, Sizalensa, Sri Lanka and the Maldives. Rarely found in the Persian Gulf and Gulf of Oman. This is Gulper Eel. Gulper Eels are oval in shape with long, whip-like tails. This eel can grow up to 100 centimeters in size. On the head there are very small eyes. Even though there is no sunlight in their habitat, the function of the eel's eyes is believed to be the result of evolution to detect dim light. This is Gurnard fish. Even though they are small and often targeted by larger predatory fish, this doesn't mean that Gurnard flying fish only eat algae or plankton. This fish is actually classified as a predator. Primarily, they will look for prey around coral or sandy seabed. The main food of the Gurnard flying fish is crustaceans, small fish, and various types of shellfish. This is a dugong. Dugongs are social creatures, they can be in flocks of 200 dugongs. Therefore, communication is very important for them. Dugongs use two main communication methods, namely sound and sight. Just like dolphins, dugongs use chirps, whistles, barks and other sounds that resonate underwater. This is squid. Squid are intelligent sea creatures. They have large and complex brains, even comparable to those of whales. The squid's ability to learn and adapt also impressed researchers. They are capable of completing complex tasks and even exhibit behavior that indicates extraordinary intelligence. This is a moray eel. Moray eels are nocturnal animals or what are usually called animals that are always active at night, while during the day moray eels always spend time living in the crevices of coral reefs. Moray eels are included in the carnivorous animal group because they are predators who often hunt marine animals. Thank you for watching guys.